Hello Virgo, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly reading. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist with this reading today. We're going to pull a few main themes and messages, then we're going to use the tarot to take a look at their energy towards you and your energy towards them, uh, a potential outcome, as well as some advice. We have closed heart. I don't know what to do. And forever changed. We also have redemption here. I feel like somebody does want a chance at redemption. Like they want a chance to redeem themselves. They want another opportunity with you here. But I, I'll be honest with you, Virgo. I feel like this is somebody that you guys have been in a cycle with. I feel like you guys have, uh, you know, forgiven this person and given them a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities here, right? Especially if this person has hurt you a great deal, Virgo. I feel like you could be kind of closed off to this person now. Um, very emotionally guarded and distant. And I do feel like a lot of it has to do with the what you have been through with this person specifically. It could be other connections as well. But with this forever changed here, it's like this pers person has pushed you too far. Like they've hurt you one too many times. And now even if you want to open back up to them, there's a part of you that just doesn't want. Like there's a part of you that still remains closed off to them. I feel like this person is lacking clarity on how to to get to that part we're going to look at their thoughts feelings intentions and their next action towards you what is their energy towards virgo please what is their energy towards virgo at this time got the six of pentacles in the reverse the hierophant in the reverse Ace of Cups in the reverse, and the Death card. Got the Three of Cups here as well. So I do feel like this person does want to reconcile. I feel like this person could have been somebody who's like, you know, they could have put you in third parties in the past. I feel like they are reflecting on how things have been a very unequal give and take. They did not put the effort in that they needed to in the past. Things could have been very one-sided. You could have been the one Virgo to... You know, always be trying to fix things or always be putting the effort in. With that energy, they could also be reflecting on, you know, that you, the fact that maybe you're not willing to um, continue to give to this situation any longer. I do feel like this person has struggled with commitment. Like I said, for some of you guys, they have put you in thir third party situations in the past. I do still feel like they have some big lessons to learn here with this Hierophant showing up in the reverse, as well as, you know, they still are struggling with commitment here. I don't really think that that has changed. They have this Ace of Cups in the reverse. For their intention, I feel like their intention is kind of trying, especially because it's coming out under this, I don't know what to do. I feel like they are trying to get you to change your mind. You know, this Ace of Cups in the reverse, I feel like you're kind of closed off to an opportunity with them, as well as... You know, it can be unrequited love. I don't feel like you don't love them anymore, but I do feel like it has changed, right? I do feel like you've been through so much with this person, especially with this, like, forever changed energy here. You've been through so much. This person has hurt you so much that it's hard for you to look at them the way that you once did. It's hard for you to lo openly love them in the way that you once did. It's reminding me of a song There's um, by L. King. It's uh, Can't Be Loved. And there's this one lyric that says, can't get back to the way that I used to love. And I, I, 
I feel like that's where you're at. Like it's it's like even if I wanted to, I can't get back to loving you the way that I once did. So your action is the death card. I do feel like, uh, or their their action is the death card. I feel like t that is. It could be them coming into some acceptance that maybe it really is over this time that you're not going to be able to open up to them the way that you used to. Um, it can be an energy of transformation. They could be, you know, wanting to uh, transform the situation. We'll have to see. We're going to get your energy out on the table as well. Show me Virgo's energy towards this person. What is Virgo's energy towards this person, please? Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands. Kind of wanted to come out. Hmm. These round cards, I don't like that for this. They can make it very hard to tell whether they're supposed to be in the reverse or upright. We'll give both meanings here for you guys. All right. Strength card in the reverse. Mm, yeah, I feel like you just don't have the. You feel like you don't have the strength to. You know, to keep dealing with this, to keep putting yourself in that situation. And with this energy here, you know, I feel like the reason why maybe it's struggling to go is because I feel like it goes back and forth. I feel like you notice, like, when you deal with this person, um, I think it really puts a, uh, how do I want to put that? Like, it really affects your self-esteem, your self-worth, the way that you look at yourself, the way that you feel about yourself, right? Um, and it's like, as soon as you start to get some space, you start to get some of that back, right? You start to feel better about yourself. You start to feel more confident, so it kind of goes back and forth with you dealing with this connection. I feel like right now you're trying really hard to focus on what is going to make you happy. Focus on your own happiness for once. Because um, I feel like you've really focused, Virgo, on what was going to make this person happy in the past. Focus on how you can give to this connection. Uh, and I think now you're just, you know, like, you know what? I deserve that energy. I deserve to be happy. I deserve that effort. Got the Ten of Swords in your heart space. I feel like you have really accepted that something is over here. And I feel like you're just focused on things that are going to make you passionate. Focusing on your, you could be focusing on your friends, focusing on your happiness. I think you're going to get through this just fine. You have the sun card here for your intention. Yeah, you just want to be happy. And I feel like you're seeing things clearly. I, I even feel, um, because the, seven, or the sun card can talk about feeling free and unburdened, right? It's a card of freedom. I feel that here. I feel like even though it's hard and you may be grieving this in a way, I also feel like, it relieves something from you, too. You have know, the two of cups here in the reverse for your action. I don't feel like you're trying to communicate with this person because I don't feel like you want to open that door for some of you. You recognize that you guys are just very out of alignment with each other here, and that's why it just doesn't work. So we're going to grab a potential outcome for you guys, and then we will take a look at your advice. What is the potential outcome here in this situation? What is the potential outcome here for Virgo? You got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Six of Wands in the reverse. So I would I would be cautious about um, you know allowing this to drag on. The Ten of Swords in the reverse can talk about something that's been drug out a lot longer than it needs to be. It's created a lot of unhappiness for you. Ten of Cups in the reverse. I also feel the Six of Wands in the reverse, more of that, you know, not feeling appreciated, not feeling valued, not feeling good about yourself. So, I do kind of feel you guys being strong for right now, but I don't necessarily feel like this person is going to give up right this minute. Uh, they may still continue to try, and I feel like this is just kind of, um, you know, where that could go if you guys, um, you know, don't set some strong boundaries here, okay? What advice do we have for Virgo? Now, this advice could be just something that Spirit wants you to reflect upon um, or be aware of. We'll see. We'll see what it is. It could be about anything. If you want something different, you must do something different. Where do you desire change? So where in your life do you desire change? Where are you not happy with the way that things are right now? 
If you want something different, you must do something different. So something that Spirit wants you to think about. We're going to get one more for you. Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. You can have comfort for now, but then you'll have regret for later. So if there's something that you guys have been wanting to go after or desire, I see that here at the Queen of Wands, there could be something that you guys want to start creating or moving towards. You could be having fear of failure or just having a lot of doubts and spirit saying that doubt will kill more dreams than failing ever will. Okay, you can stay in a comfort zone and have that comfort for now, but then later you'll have that regret. Okay, so just something spirit wants you to think about. But that is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. Um, but if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and for supporting me and I will see you soon.